What's up everyone, Bubba here, and today we have a controller showdown. Now we're going to be taking a look at two heavy hitters today. One's been around for a while, the other's relatively new. We have the Elite Series 2, and we also have the Scuff Instinct Pro. First thing, if you're interested in a detailed write-up that I made, I put it in a spreadsheet in the link below in the description, and that's going to pretty much follow this video. Now for the Scuff Instinct Pro, if you're not too familiar with the controller, make sure you check out the video below in the description as I did do an in-depth review on that controller. Let's take a look at what we got in the boxes. Elite Series 2 comes with a case, two standard concave sticks. Now you can choose between a faceted or standard D-pad. And moving to the extra sticks, we have a short domed thumb stick with the ring texture on it, as well as a long concave stick. We also have two shorter concave sticks with a wider top and a flat smooth grip. Now everything is easily swappable and magnetic. Here we have our thumbstick tensioning tool. Each stick has three tension settings and both of these are easily adjustable. And finally we have our charging base, which is also magnetic. Now this can be attached to various objects too if you wish. And finally, what most people don't know is you also have this little port up top of the case so the controller can be charged while it's in there. Now the Instinct Pro did not come with a case, I purchased this separately in the player pack. It did come with two short concave sticks, this was my choice when customizing, and also came with a standard D-pad, again my choice when customizing. The D-pad is magnetic, easily removable, faceplate also magnetic, and this can again easily be swapped. Sticks pull off similar to other scuff controllers, give them a good tug, and then give them a good press to put them back. In the accessory box, we received a long and short domed thumbstick, along with our USB-C cable. Please note both controllers came with USB-C cables. Looking at what you get in the box, overall, best bang for your buck, Elite Series 2 all day. Just to remind you, you have four additional sticks instead of two additional sticks. You have both D-pads in the box instead of only being able to pick one. And you have your tension tool, which lets you adjust the tension on both of those sticks. And again, this all comes in at that price of $139.99 if you get it on sale, or even $179.99 originally, you are still getting a lot more than what you would get with the scuff. Now in terms of connectivity, both of these have wireless capabilities and can also be plugged in, so this was pretty much a wash for me. But the first two big things I'm gonna touch on right out the gate, price and warranty. Now the Elite Series 2, originally priced at $179.99 before tax. However, right now when this video is being released, you can get it on sale for $139.99. That controller comes with a one year warranty. Followed by the Scuff Instinct Pro, this controller starts at $199.99 before tax, and this comes with a six month warranty. Now taking a look at the price, the Elite Series 2 is obviously cheaper, especially if you get that controller on sale right now. It's a huge savings and I would highly recommend going for it if you've been interested in getting this controller. $139.99 is a great deal for the Series 2. And going over the warranty, six months for me really isn't even close to being enough when it comes to electronics. So in terms of price, the Elite Series 2 is already coming in at $20 cheaper at its full price. If you get it discounted right now, $139.99, you're gonna be saving $60 off for it. On top of that, if you do any extra customizations to your Scuff Instinct Pro, that's obviously only going to raise the price, which is only going to further widen the disparity between the two controllers prices and warranty. One year for me is a good enough warranty to start. I've never had an issue with my Elite Series 2 controller. I do actually have a friend who had to warranty their controller and they had it back in about 10 days. And instead of fixing the controller, they actually received a brand new controller and they still had the three or four months left in their warranty that they could apply to that controller from their original year. When it comes to the scuff, we only have a six month warranty. This is a little worrisome, but the controller does seem solidly built. I've had no issues with it yet, but still too soon to say. A quick run through of the Xbox accessories app, which will be used with the Elite Series 2. Basic controller info and settings can be found here. Now, if we hit configure, this opens up our profiles. For the sake of this video, we'll look at profile two. And here we can map any option you see. We click on it and then we choose our primary option. Now you can also set up a shift option, essentially giving you a second layer of inputs. And to utilize that shift option, just make sure you do pick a button that you're going to use as a shift button. You do this by picking whatever button or paddle you wanna use and then checking use as shift button. Now for the left and right stick, we can set our curve and calculations and also test the feel in real time by maneuvering the sticks. This again applies to the right stick. And for the left and right triggers, individual dead zones can be set. Now this lets us set the trigger pull to 
pretty much exactly how we want it. And this can be adjusted on either the front end of the trigger pull or the back end of the trigger pull. And this again can be tested in real time. Now you can set up an instant leg trigger by closing our dead zone up to the front pull of the trigger area, which fully activates the trigger as soon as it's pulled. Or you could also put it all the way on the rear end of the trigger pull, which means the trigger wouldn't activate until you fully depress that trigger. Vibration and brightness settings to finish. So in terms of software and what I'll call mappability, I'm going to give this to the Elite Series 2. Now no software with any gaming peripheral for me can really make it or break it. I've had mice with no software, I've had controllers with no software, I've had keyboards with no software, and I'm really not a fan. The Xbox Accessories app is phenomenal, it lets you do all kinds of things with the controller and it really does give you pretty much full customization of the controller. Now with the Scuff Instinct Pro, we pretty much have our three basic profiles on top of whatever we map onto those profiles and that's it. Having that many options to map buttons on top of an additional layer of buttons if you decide to use the shift button, the scuff isn't even close. So the Elite Series 2 does have a rubberized grip and you have your four paddles. Now these paddles for me are extremely comfortable and when you set your fingers down, they go right to those paddles. One, two, three, four. This has been the most comfortable controller to date for me in terms of paddle layout. Also do want to make note of the fact that this controller does have adjustable trigger stops. You have three settings and what that means is you can adjust your trigger pull. Right now that's a full trigger pull. If you go all the way down, it's a smaller trigger pull. And then you have a setting in the middle. These are both individually adjustable. Full trigger pull, short trigger pull, full trigger pull, short trigger pull. If you're not a person that uses all four of your paddles, I also want to take note of how easy these paddles are to pull off. Maybe if you just want to use two, three, four, one, whatever. Now removing these paddles is as easy as grabbing it, taking it right into the middle, and it's out. And you do the reverse to put it back in. And what I really like about these paddles is there's no flex because this... Can we get the focus? Focus! Is a metal paddle. Which means... I probably can't... Oh, nope, don't think so. I probably could bend it, but the point is, is it's it's made of metal. There's no flex. And with no flex, you get a nice instant click. And I've never had an issue with these paddles bending or anything like that, and they'll never break because they're not flexing and they're not plastic, etc., etc. Now, talking about the Instinct Pro, they did try a couple new things with this controller, and I think they did overall a really good job with the controller. First, we have the Performance Hex Grip. Now that performance hex grip is my favorite grip on any controller that I've used to date. And they also did something really cool with the triggers on this controller and these are actually my favorite triggers on a controller to date. So what they did with this controller was they added an instant click trigger. So essentially this controller has two types of trigger options. You have your full pull. And then you have your instant click. Now for the instant click triggers, these are supposed to be mouse-like triggers and all you have to do to activate them is you flip a switch on the back of the controller. The switch is located where the adjustable trigger stop switch would be on the Elite. Flip the switch. And we have our instant click trigger. Off. Trigger pull. On. Mouse click off on that being said i don't like that the only option is either a full trigger pull or the instant click trigger i would have liked to see some adjustable trigger stops on it although i don't know how easy that would have been to do either way that's just my thought it is nice however that they give you the option because the full pull allows you to still play things like racing games and then you can switch over to the instant click when you're playing things like your first and third person shooters now this is a new paddle layout they tried all the paddles are integrated which means they can't be removed and while I think the paddles are positioned in a good spot, I don't like the center two paddles. Here's your paddles. Paddle there. Paddle here. Paddle there. Paddle here. Now while the position does look good and feels good, you'll see each finger falls on a paddle. What I don't like is how the center paddles have this huge angle on them. These two side paddles are perfect. These center paddles for me and how I hold the controller are really just not that optimal. To me, it seems like they kind of wanted you to hold the controller a little differently. I feel like they maybe wanted you to roll your finger into the paddles, because you can kind of roll it between that space and hit both of them. Either way, if I'm just using this as a two paddle controller and I want the instant click mouse triggers, 
I'd probably go for this controller. So in terms of the grip, the Scuff Instinct Pro wins in my book. Now in terms of the triggers, I'm also going to give the win to the Scuff Instinct Pro. But that's because I like the instant click trigger so much, and I don't really play a lot of games that require the full trigger pull. Now, if you're somebody who does need to take advantage of those trigger stops, again, there is no trigger stops that are adjustable on the Scuff Instinct Pro. It's only the instant click or the full trigger pull. So while I'm gonna give the points to the Scuff for the triggers, I can't say they're gonna be great for everybody. So if you're trying to play it safe, I would probably give this point in your book to the Elite Series 2. And for the paddles, that goes to the Elite Series 2 comfortable and it works. While I think Scuff tried to do something new and different here, it really just didn't work for me. Now I did add customization as a subject because we all love to do it. The Elite Series 2 has virtually no customization to it. You can't take the faceplate off really. If you do, I think you actually may probably void the warranty. That being said, they do have some aftermarket stick attachments that you can put on like the control freaks and things like that. In terms of actual customization for the controller, minimal. Scuff, on the other hand, has tons of options for colors. This faceplate pops right off. You saw that earlier in the video. It lets you pick all different types of faceplates. You can order it with different colored buttons, bumpers, and all types of different things. So Scuff definitely takes the cake here for customization. I did throw these controllers on a scale for you. For me personally, when I'm controller gaming, I usually have my arms on something, whether it be like an armrest or my desk. So weight really doesn't matter to me. For some of you, it may, and that's fine, but this is gonna be more of a preference thing, so I left it off the scoreboard. Mic mute button. Now, the Elite Series 2 does not have a mic mute button for inline microphones. The Scuff Instinct Pro does have a mic mute button. Now, if you're only playing on PC, this doesn't matter entirely because there are some other ways you can mute things on your computer, but when I'm playing on console or for any other console players out there, it's actually pretty annoying to not have an inline mic mute button. So I give this one to the Scuff Instinct Pro. Now, in terms of battery, I know this is gonna be personal preference, but I'm I'm giving this one to the Elite Series 2, primarily because if you have a rechargeable battery, as long as that battery never goes bad, which I really haven't heard of them doing too often, but it could be a thing, you don't have the additional cost of extra battery packs or just AA batteries, whatever you're choosing to put in a controller that does require batteries. So for me, the convenience of charging up the controller, having it be full, and maybe plugging it in once a week is good. Now, if you're someone who really doesn't care, or maybe you already have the Microsoft plug and play set up with your controllers, then this might not really be a big deal for you and you can kind of forget about that score up there. And that's the Elite Series 2 versus the Scuff Instinct Pro. Now for me, the Elite Series 2 won this one. That being said, if you have an Elite Series 2 already and you're looking to try something different, I do think the Scuff Instinct Pro is a pretty cool controller. It's got a lot of cool features and if those instant click mouse like triggers sound neat to you, they probably will be, you can give it a go. In conclusion, the Elite Series 2 is on sale for $139.99 right now. So if you are thinking about getting one, you probably should. I don't think you'll regret it. I have one, a lot of my friends have one. We all like it. We've had minor issues along the way and any issues we have had have been taken care of. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, Video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. I'm going to have a lot of content coming your way in terms of reviews and video game content primarily. Those are the two things I'm looking to start focusing on. Maybe a little life vlog stuff, we'll see. If you have any other questions, make sure you leave them below in the comments. If you have anything you'd like to see in the future, make sure you leave that below in the comments. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Love you all. Peace.